name is Bridget and welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Now you can't see me, but that's because I wanted the focus of this video to be on this stuff right here that you see in front of me. So basically for today's video, we're gonna be trying to make some reptile jewelry out of my reptile skin. I've seen quite a few people on Instagram do this and I know that Snake Discovery has done a video like this before where they make necklaces and pendants and things out of their snake skins or lizard skins. So we're gonna try and do that today. The first little things right here that I got, they're just these little square pendant things that come with the covers. And I'm basically just gonna take some skin and like put it in between these two covers and stick it in here. Don't know how that's gonna work. We're gonna find out together. And to match it, I have this chain right here, which, you know, I don't know. Color was the same. I thought that that would work. So we're gonna see how it does. I also picked up this one right here, which is more of like a globe kind of thing where it's gonna magnify the skin just a little bit. And to go with that, I just got this plain silver chain. And then in terms of the skin, I have got a couple of pieces of my Bearded Dragon skin. Here is her skin. We're gonna try to make something out of this. And then I also have a skin from my boa constrictor, Bruce. This is Bruce's skin and he was my first boa constrictor, so I thought it'd be special to make something out of his skin. And then I have this skin right here, which is from my corn snake, Cornelius, who was my first snake ever, so I thought it was special to make something out of his skin as well. All right, so we are just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can kind of see a little little bit more of what's going on. Oh, okay. So we have this thing. There's two pieces of glass, two pieces of glass, and this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. So that was nerve wracking. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can to not like just totally break this thing. But basically we have this open now to where I can slide the glass in there. For this one, I think I want to take a little bit of Bruce's belly skin. Um, it looks really cool. I just have to find like a really nice kind of flat area that I can cut. I didn't think this through at all before I even got started, which I probably should have done. Guys, if you're gonna do something like this, you might wanna just like think it through. So I'm get my scissors. Ugh, this makes me so sad. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna do this. No! I cut it, I cut it, I cut it, I cut it. I'm sad. Ah! Okay. Wow, that was emotional. I'm gonna take some glass right here, lay some skin on there, and then I'm gonna put this one on the top like that. Take this one and trim that off. These are not the best scissors. I need like tiny scissors. I'm getting like scales everywhere. I'm gonna attempt to put this in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm sliding this through here. I have the first two pieces on and I'm gonna clamp this down on this. And then we have to clamp this one onto here, but I have to get this through that little hole thing right there. What do I do? What do I even do? All right, after what felt like forever, I finally got this to clamp. It doesn't quite match up exactly as it did before, but I'm not mad at it, it's okay. This looks really cool. Now I'm gonna try and get this on the chain. I also just realized I think I only bought one chain for this one, <laughs> uh, which is okay. I'll go get another chain. And now here is my first necklace. I'm gonna do this one right here, and I think this one I'm gonna put Cornelius's little face in. It's like his perfect little face. So I'm gonna try and get this in there. So I basically just think I wanna take his face like this and like smush it in there, right? Weird. That actually looks pretty dang cool. So I'm going to keep it this way, and I'm gonna cut his little skin right here. Ah! That makes me so sad, you guys. All right, now this is in there pretty nicely and I'm gonna attempt to get it in here. Dude, can you just get in your home? Thank you. Okay, you guys, so I broke this one. <laughs> 
Um, I'm just going to go back and get a new one of these and do the same glass and everything, but I broke it on the little latch up here. I still think this looks really cool and I do want to finish it. So I'll just have to post it on like Instagram or something when I do finish this and get it on an actual chain. That is basically my second piece of jewelry made and now we're going to get on to the third one. All right. So for this one right here, we just have this little globe looking thing. Pops open like that. I'm gonna clean the inside and I basically want to just like do uh, Phoebe's skin like this. So I'm gonna hold this in place and then try and cut it around it as best I can. I need to try and cut it into like a circle. Let me see if I can just kind of gently go around and make a circle, do it like that, and lay it like that. That is so cool. So then I'm gonna set this down and get this chain ready, because that's the only way this thing is gonna be held in place is if you have a chain in between it. And here is my third piece of jewelry. How cool is this? There is a little bit of skin like peeking through the edges right here, but I'm not worried about it. Um, it'll still all stay in place. I think this is so freaking neat. guys so there you have it there's my DIY reptile jewelry that I need to complete at another day and time overall I think these turned out really really cool I can't wait to wear them and spark up some conversation about these things they're just so neat and I love that I have them now it's like a different way of preserving your baby's skin I think it's so so cool but yeah that wraps up another day of vlogmas making some DIY reptile jewelry hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please give us a big thumbs up make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye